This is a recipe that I developed for a nightclub in Russia. I originally called this dangerously hot drumsticks, but when the owners attempted to translate it into Russian, it came out as illegal sexy legs. Since the owners preferred that translation, that's what they went with. This has quite a lot in common with making confit duck, but it's certainly not the same thing. I'm just going to start off getting this, some coarse cuts just to get it started in the mortar and pestle. Now I'm going to add this. I've got two tablespoons of coarse salt. I'm going to grind this together well. Fairly well incorporated. Now we can add next ingredients here, which include a tablespoon of paprika. So quite a lot of paprika. A couple of tablespoons of sugar. Grind it a little bit more. I'll show you what this looks like if you've done everything right. This is like a thick, heavy homogenous paste with the, the garlic and the smoked paprika and the sugar and the salt and uh, this is what you're going to massage into the chicken and the next morning now unlike confit I'm not going to wipe these off they have a little bit of moisture on them. That's actually going to be okay. I am going to drain them off, shake them off a little bit. Line them up in here. You'll see in a minute how much liquid came off of them. You try to get them in a single layer as much as possible. And, and this is all this liquid and goop that came off of them. This is all trash. Now, add enough oil to cover all of the chicken, of course. And this is just plain vegetable oil. We're not using duck fat like we were for the uh, duck confit. And you can save this oil and reuse it if you want to. It's especially important if you've got a whole lot of chicken to make. However, it will get spicier and spicier every time you reuse the oil because of what we're going to add next, which is I've got an entire habanero chili. I'm going to slice this in half. You don't have to worry about it being um, even or, or being contact, where it contacts the chicken, making it especially hotter than some other part because uh, after the, the, with the long cooking time, it's all going to get distributed anyway. So, we'll put that in, and a couple of bay leaves, and we're ready to start it up in the oven. Meanwhile, <coughs> the chicken drumsticks have come out of the oven, and we're just going to leave these to sit in the oil and cool down for a little while before we proceed. I have a nonstick pan. It's cold. I have not heated it all yet. I'm putting some of the chicken in it. I'm going to do about half at a time. I'm going to do it in two batches. In, uh, very similar to cooking uh, confit duck. We're going to heat this up and, and turn it over. We want to crisp up the skin in the pan. And continue rotating chicken legs around on the sides. Make sure that they're cooking evenly. You want to get them nice and crispy. And you can feel it. This is it's getting better, but it's it's not quite ready yet. We want some nice crispness. And when you've got a good starting crispness on there, you can move these off to the corners and do the rest in the same pan. This is what you want to see. Nice, 
sprouting. I've assembled the ingredients for the sauce here. I've got 30 grams of sugar, 100 uh, milliliters of red wine vinegar, 100 milliliters of chicken stock, which I made, uh, 2 ounces of, of red onion, which I'm going to cut up in a minute. How many chilies you use is up to you. Uh, if you want it really hot, put in a couple of habaneros. I'm going to go with 3 uh, regular red chilies for this. Obviously cut the, the stems off and chop these up. And I've got 25 grams of butter which we're going to use in just a few minutes. I'm putting in the red onion and the chilies that have been coarsely chopped. Along with red wine vinegar. I'm going to start heating this for a minute. Yeah, it's been a few minutes now on a, on a strong simmer and um, about a quarter of the volume of the vinegar has been reduced. So I'm going to add now the chicken stock and the sugar and continue the cooking. The uh, temperature during this reduction is running 80 to 85 degrees. When it starts to get to where the liquid is barely enough to cover the chilies, that's when I'm going to add the butter. And continue cooking. Don't change the heat setting. Just let the butter melt in and keep it cooking. Yes, yeah, this is about uh, five more minutes. It's still being maintained between 80 and 85 degrees. <clears throat> it's uh, starting to get thick here. Now, here's where you have to be careful. Don't let it reduce to the point where the chilies start to burn. You do not want to get it to that point. You're going to have to get those out of there, rescue them before they actually start to burn. So uh, from here, maybe uh, two or three more minutes, then we're going to yeah. strain. This is the, what you're looking for. There's a slight change in the sound. <clears throat> it's like a slightly higher pitched bubbling. And you can see this is this has become quite thick now. This is the point we're going to strain it. Use the back of a spoon. Push through as much of it as you can. This is going to take <laughs> a couple minutes. You're really going to have to to work this. And I switched to a rubber spatula here. Switched to a rubber spatula because I can exert more force. I really want to push through as much of this as I can. Of course, mostly solid simply will not go through. But whatever I can get through here, I'm going to get through. This is where all the flavor is. If you have a food mill, that, uh, that would be a good first step, but you're still going to have to pass it through a sieve. And give it you know, two or three minutes. It's worth your time. The more you do this, the better the flavor is going to be. When you're finally done, remember to scrape the bottom of the sieve. You've got a fairly small amount of sauce here, but this is really powerful. Really, really powerful. This is the glaze. Chili glaze. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.